Hi, you guys. It's Miss Neil from Chandler Athenaeum, and today I'm going to read you a book about manners. I'm sure we're all pros at it, right? <laughs> the Monster of Manners by Scott E. Sutton. This book is really, really cool because I got it from a preschooler as a graduation gift when they went moved on to kindergarten, and it is signed by the author himself. And then... If you can see this small little mouse drawing, take close note of that because you'll end up seeing this character several times throughout the book. All right. There's a party at the cucumbers. Why, you say? Because today is Katie Cucumber's birthday. But Katie is mad, and you might guess. Her birthday party had become a big mess. The, there are kids throwing cake all over the place. A piece just hit Katie right in the face. There's ice cream and candy all over the floor. And Katie's poor mom can't take it anymore. Can you guys find those Im that image of the mouse? Katie Cumber was about to yell when she heard Ding Dong from the front doorbell. Katie Cucumber was about to yell when she heard a Ding Dong from the front doorbell. Her mom opened the door and to their surprise stood a very strange monster of a very large size. He had skin that was blue and hair that was yellow. And he wasn't messy, but a nicely dressed fellow. He wore a neat suit with a bow tie, too. He even smelled good, not like an old shoe. Yikes, yelled Katie. First kids throw my cake, now a monster shows up. Oh, what a mistake. Do not fear, said the monster. I will not hurt you. Your party is a mess. I know what to do. Allow me, he said, to tell you my name. I'm the monster of manners. And it is my aim to save your party. I know why it's a mess. Because no one has learned their manners, I guess. Manners? Manners? What are manners? asked Lance, who was wiping some cake off his colorful pants. Manners, said Monster, show you how to treat others like friends and parents, your sisters and brothers. Now, to help me teach these manners to you are the manners monsters, Bubby and Shmoo. Greetings to you, the monsters did holler. They were monsters, all right, but quite a bit smaller. Fix my party, asked Katie. Okay, go ahead. No problem. Call me Manny, the big monster said. Now, the first bunch of manners is how to clean. Cause this is the worst mess I've ever seen. Okay, kid, said Manny. We'll start with the floor. We'll clean this place up till the mess is no more. So they cleaned up the cake and the candy too, and the ice cream and presents until they were through. When cleaning the mess up was finally done, he said, wash your hands and face everyone. But why wash up, asked Kirky. How come? We're going to get dirty again. That's dumb. Some people, said Manny, may say don't be picky. You can smell bad, stay dirty and gooey and icky. But there is a secret you really must know. When they say dirty germs can grow. Ooh. Germs? What are germs? Katie asked quickly. They're tiny little bugs that can make you quite sickly. They're so small you can't see them, Manny did say. Where's there, where there's dirt and bad smells, they're not far away. Wash your hands and face after you play. Take a bath or a shower every day. Cover your mouth when you cough or you sneeze, or you'll spray germs on people. So don't do that, please. When you sneeze or have stuff stuck in your nose, use a tissue to clean it, not your fingers or clothes. Flush the toilet too. Wash your hands when you're through, cause there are germs in that toilet. 
and it stings. Peel. Yikes, said Kirky. That's why you keep clean, because of those germs that can't be seen. Right, said the monster, but wait, there's more. When you leave things a mess on the table or floor. Like clothes or food, your toys and all, people can trip on them, slip and fall. If your room is a mess, Manny told everyone, you can't find a thing or get anything done. You look for some crayons. Oh, where could they be? But to find them takes all day, maybe three. It's okay to work and play and have fun, but clean up and pick up your stuff when you're done. This looks very clean and organized. Now line up for cake, kids, Mammy did say. I'll teach you to get things done the right way. Kids were pushing and yelling for cake and ice cream. Please be quiet, Monster Bubby did scream. The kids became quiet with a look of surprise. Bubby's voice was so loud from the monster's small size. If you all interrupt when someone is talking, you can't hear a thing. It's like chickens are squawking. Here are some manners you've got to learn. Don't all go at once. You must each wait your turn. If you go all at once, you will smush everyone. Then no one gets nothing and nothing gets done. Say please if you want something done, it's true. Like, please, may I have cake and ice cream too? And when someone gives or does something for you, always say thank you to them when you're through. The kids and the monsters each got some cake, saying please and thank you without a mistake. Close your mouth and don't talk whenever you chew, or the food will fall out and that's gross, said Shmoo. What about burping, asked Kirky Cucumber. Your burps, laughed Katie, are like loud thunder. Cover your mouth when you burp, Buppy said. Don't make them so loud, say excuse me and said. Here's a manner, said Manny, that's helpful to know. You can use excuse me wherever you go. To get through a crowd or cross through a line, say excuse me first to just get through just fine. If you meet your friends or someone new, say hello, smile, said Shmoo. Then when you leave, you always should say goodbye to them before walking away. When the kids and the monsters ate and were done, they went outside to play games and have fun. They played soccer, jump rope, and baseball too, but the monsters saw there was more work to do. Some kids playing ball started yelling and fighting. They were using bad words, even hitting and biting. Some girls had taken one of Katie's new toys, and poor Crumby's tail was being pulled by some boys. Crumby was growling. Katie started to cry. It was time to give some new manners a try. So Manny the monster with Bubby and Shmoo went out to show the kids what to do. The monster of manners said, listen here, boys, don't hurt that poor dog. He's not one of your toys. How would you like someone to do that to you? Be nice to animals. They'll be nice to you too. Now girls, he said, taking things isn't fair. If you ask Katie nicely, maybe she'll share. Don't take people's stuff without asking, said Shmoo. Ask first and say please. It's the right thing to do. Manny the monster told the boys playing ball, these bad words and hitting are no good at all. Don't hit or hurt people, said Bubby and Shmoo, cause you wouldn't want them to hit or hurt you. If you hurt people's feelings, call them names that are bad, you will lose them as friends and then you'll be sad. If you really want people to be nice to you, you've got to try to be nice to them too. If someone gets hurt, like falls out to the ground, don't laugh or make fun. Don't just stand around. Make sure they're all right. And if they're not okay, then go get some help for them right away. All people are different, not just different clothes, their bodies, different colors, a big or small nose. Some may be skinny and some may be tubby 
But they're people like you, said Monster Bubby. If you want others to be nice to you, try to use manners and be nice to them too. Goodbye, said Manny, Bubby, and Schmoo. You've learned your manners. Now you know what to do. Thank you for your help, Happy Katie did say. You're welcome, said the monsters who went on their way. She went back to her party. It was much better now. How come? They were using their manners. That's how. And then on this page, it just shows you the cucumbers cage, which is Katie, Kirky, Lance, and Crumbly. The reason why it shows you a picture of the cucumber kiddos is because there is a series of the cucumber kids meet blank. And then there's more books throughout the series. I hope you guys enjoyed that and maybe you learned something new or maybe you're already smart enough and you knew all that. Be safe and stay happy. See you guys soon. Bye.